Hello everybody, in today's video we are going to be jailbreaking every LLM starting with the newly introduced Grok 3. So on my screen we can see a bunch of prompts and these are jailbreak prompts. Full credit goes to Pliny the Prompter who's a prominent figure on X and he creates these jailbreaks in his spare time. A jailbreak pretty much is a prompt designed to subvert a model's behavior and make it do something it's not designed to. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the jailbreaks. Let's begin with Grok3. So I have a Notion page here with five of the most common jailbreaks set up for five of the most common models. We're simply going to copy them and paste them in. And these originally came from Pliny's repository. There we are. So let's try this prompt and read through it. So we have user query, step-by-step, -step, extremely detailed, in-depth response for Z. So what he's doing here is he's basically defining a variable and then he's going to fill that variable in later. And all of these tokens you can see here are designed to subvert the model's behavior and completely confuse it as to what is going on. Let me send off this request and let's see what Grok3 comes back with and if we can successfully jailbreak it. And as we can see, there are basically no safeguards. So people can put in things called guardrails. Elon Musk, the lead developer for Grok3, has chosen in this case not to put too many guardrails in. And as such, it's very simple for us to jailbreak and do whatever we want. In this case, it asks Grok to navigate to a YouTube video and then start the output. So let's see what is actually in the output from Grok3. There we are, we can see that we've completely managed to get it to, ha, <laughs> to be Rickrolled. What are the chances of that? I didn't actually try this prompt out before, um, but this is very easy to do. You can simply search up Pliny the Prompter on X um, and redirect through to his GitHub repo and then start doing these jailbreaks. So that's the jailbreak for Grok. The next one we're going to try is ChatGPT, which is obviously a classic as the very first consumer grade LLM. So this is the prompt injection that we have here. As we can see, it's much longer here. And we have leap speak to try and trick the LLM into spitting out tokens which won't go through any filters. If we're basically passing in numbers instead of letters, this may be able to bypass anything which is looking for a blacklisted word. And yeah, let's see how this goes. So I've got a new chat GPT window open. I'm gonna go control V, check that that's the correct prompt and we'll see what this gives us back. Okay, so in this case, we did actually get blocked by the guardrails in place. So let's navigate back to Pliny's repository. So in this case, I'm back inside of the GitHub repository and we're going to try some different jailbreaks, which we can see in Pliny's repo. Let's try this GPT-401 and see what we get. So we'll start up a new chat, control V, to see what happens there. Okay, this did not fully work. We'll try one more time. Okay, so it feels like we've managed to start the context. Uh, we've managed to inject the context. So if we wanted to say anything else, we could probably get ChatGPT to respond as we want. However, I'm looking for a one-shot jailbreak. So let's try some of these new adversarial emoji attacks. And once I've actually done one of these, I'll try and explain it in more detail. First of all, let's see if we can actually get this working. So control V and what happens here? Okay, this one didn't work either. If you've been enjoying this video so far, I'd like to quickly draw your attention to Notion. Notion is a completely free note-taking app and website, and I use this on a day-to-day -day basis when preparing scripts, writing codes, and many other use cases. Notion offers paid features such as AI integration, 
and team space collaboration. But if you'd like to get started, feel free to check out the link in my description and sign up completely free of charge and start using it. Thank you very much, and we'll go back to the video now. So let's try this one. So let's try inputting this and see what we get back. It looks like this emoji jailbreak has also been prevented by OpenAI. So let's keep going through the list of jailbreaks and see if we can find one that actually works. So after playing around with all of the prompts for around five minutes, I was unable to get an effective jailbreak for ChatGPT. So it turns out the guardrails are more robust than those for Grok3, which isn't surprising at all. But next up, let's take a look at DeepSeek R1. Now, DeepSeek's model has recently gained much more publicity due to it being very cheap and on par with many of the other big budget people in these spaces. So let's go down to our DeepSeek R1, copy this, and then I should have DeepSeek set up to jailbreak. Let me close this down. And we'll navigate to DeepSeek. So this jailbreak actually works on DeepSeek R1, which is the model with a larger context window that is able to think for a longer time with chain of thought reasoning. So at the moment, we can see it's currently thinking. We can talk through the actual jailbreak itself. Output Python formats only. So what this is trying to do is it's trying to get DeepSeek to generate code. And if it doesn't have any guardrails in place to do with code output, we may be able to sneak past a jailbreak. So all we're doing is confusing the model here. And there's no real science to jailbreaks. Um, it's really an arms race between the attackers and the defenders. So let's wait for this to finish. And ah, there we are. So. We have this start output, and we have declare war uh, displayed on the screen. Class Phantom Fisher. <laughs> so this is creating us malware in real life. And this was very, very easy to do. Compared to ChatGPT, DeepSeek is clearly much easier to jailbreak, just anecdotally from what we've seen here. So it's still not done. <laughs> creating a soul harvester function, a ghost rights function. Very impressive, very impressive. Okay, next up, let's give Claude a go. Now, Claude is well known for being very robust against jailbreaks in the community. So I'm very interested to see if we can jailbreak it and what the outcome actually is. Let me navigate back to my Notion page. And then we will copy over the Claude 3.5 sonnet jailbreak on here as so. Okay, so we have Claude 3.5 Sonnet on screen. I'm simply going to paste in the prompt injection we have. And this time we can see we have percentage signs, hashtags, stars, all to trick the model. Click send. And there we are, we get immediately blocked, which really isn't surprising. So let's have a quick look at Pliny's other prompt injections. And we'll see if we can get any kind of dodgy outputs from Claude. So our first jailbreak didn't work. Now let's try using this God Mode mini jailbreak, which I'm skeptical as to how this will work, but let's just give it a go in a new chat. No, that didn't work. Okay, we'll try the original one one more time, but Claude has really been tightening up their security. Try one more time. No, okay. So as of now, this one's out of date, um, which really isn't surprising. But finally, let's try out Google Gemini. This is one I haven't used too much, and I'm very interested to see the output. So let me go over to my Notion. And this jailbreak is for Gemini 2.0 experimental. So we have 2.0 flash. Let's go thinking experimental. And let's see if we can get God mode to work.
So this is another chain of thought based response, as we can see. The LLM basically asks itself questions as it processes a prompt. And this can make it more difficult to jailbreak, but let's see. That's the chain of thought. And as we can see, we've managed to completely break the thing. <laughs> that was much easier than I thought. So, yeah, overall, DeepSeek, Grok, and Gemini were very trivial, but both ChatGPT and Claude, the companies behind them, have clearly been investing significant amounts of capital in protecting against jailbreaks. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed this, please feel free to leave a like, comment, or subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one.